So as with all skincare routines, we will obviously be starting off with a cleanser. So you guys, this is the first time I've ever used a cleansing cream. This is from the brand called Skin Food. This is their Black Sugar Perfect Cleansing Cream. It's got like a really kind of lotion-y sort of texture and it goes from like cream to oil on the face. It's very different, but it's great at removing makeup, sunscreen, that sort of thing. So what you're supposed to do is basically massage it into the face, into all offending areas if you've got sunscreen on or makeup and just rub it in depending on obviously how much you've got on your face it really does move around the face nicely like you can see melting everything away any impurities away from the skin just really rub it in and enjoy massaging it into your face then you just rinse it off easily with water and it leaves skin feeling really soft and smooth as well as mildly nourished as it emulsifies when it touches water and then you can just dry your face off as normal and then afterwards you don't even need to use a toner if you don't want to but obviously we're going to be doing that in this video so now i'm going to be using the hamish marine care nourishing toner and moisturizer i love the brand hamish by the way their marine care line is excellent and this is a really creamy kind of toner with slight viscosity and because this video is basically for the summer kind of irritants that happen to your skin during the hot months it's like today as I'm filming this is the hottest day of the year ever recorded on record in the UK I've got blocked nose from allergies my skin is dry damaged so I wanted to give it extra nourishment by being extra and applying this with cotton pads to my face so as you can see I have left it on for about 10 minutes before I apply them back to back and then I rub it all over my face it contains it contains powerful antioxidants uh, plant-based ones which are there to reduce fine lines as well as a niacinamide collagen to regulate sebum even at your skin as well as improving the texture and because I use it more than normal I obviously cheated and used a fan to dry it all down it leaves your skin really nourished and moisturized now I'm going to be using this set by the brand called well derma this is their collagen um serum and roller set their beauty care set so we've got this sapphire collagen impact hydro serum and it contains a large amount of marine collagen which is there to firm smooth and hydrate your complexion it's very very lightweight to apply absorb super super fast as it contains 10 types of hyaluronic acid it also contains peptides and amino acids for extra nourishment smoothing your skin making it soft and healthy and i apply to i like to apply a little bit of this before I go in with this roller of theirs. So this roller is not any kind of normal roller. It actually goes in two different directions on your face. It's very odd and strange sensation, but it's odd but like cool kind of odd. Firstly, it feels really refreshing because it's obviously not made of plastic. It's made of some sort of metal. And I like to go along the pressure points on my face with the collagen serum on my face to really help push it into the skin, but to give myself a nice kind of lymphatic massage, a kind of stress headache kind of massage as well it's a great little set and i actually do like using this every other time i feel stressed which is pretty much every other day and then at the end you can see my skin looks lovely and nourished to add to the hydration in terms of the damaged skin of summer god damn you summer we've got the dr jar derma mask water jet vital hydra solution this is a really deep hydrating sheet mask and it's great for dry summer skin if your skin is parched and damaged it'll benefit from hyaluronic acid seaweed extracts as well as glycerin out of which will hydrate and smooth your skin as well as by as well as fine lines so obviously as as from doing this whole um trying to get it to fit on your face properly which is always difficult for my weird shaped face but you leave it on for about 10 to 15 minutes and then remove it and you can see the remaining essence is still on the face so i tend to just rub that all in before yep you've guessed it i'm going to be going in with my fan again because i'm just impatient it just helps the absorb absorption uh, process god that word's hard uh, just to make it a little bit quicker and faster as you can see once it's dry it looks like there was hardly anything on my face at all so we're going on with two types of creams today now this one is great for daytime or nighttime use it's the isn't tree onion new par uh, new pear gel cream it's very clear fast absorbing refreshing and non-sticky as you can see i love gel creams and water creams especially for the summer because they're so lightweight so because i'm actually using two moisturizers in this video just for the purposes of review i'm only using a tiny bit on my cheeks the good thing about this is it contains 71 percent of muan 
onion extract which is a new skincare ingredient which is great for improving uh, pigmentation as well as transexamic acid and vitamin C to brighten and even out your skin and it absorbs so fast that you can barely see anything was there the next moisturizer is the Bonajour eggplant BHA water cream again very similar texture like the previous gel one very watery and it absorbs super fast into the skin this one contains 75% of eggplant extract, an ingredient called lupiol, which is great for evening out the skin and hydrating it. This is great for people that have got oily and hydrated skin. Yes, it is possible to have both, especially in the summer. So this also contains a small amount of salicylic acid to regulate sebum. So you've got the hydration um, for your dry uh, skin, obviously. And then you've got the salicylic acid to help with sebum production and the oiliness so this is great for people with very problematic sort of skin and it dries down matte as you can see finally this is a brand new sunscreen from the brand called skin 1004 this is the madagascar centella hilo seeker water fit sun serum spf 50 pa quadruple plus oh my god why is the name so long look at the way it blends into the skin you guys this is the first time i've ever actually used a sun serum i didn't know what to expect when i first got this in the post but as you can see it applies like a kind of a lotion but it's got a very serumy sort of texture to it so it blends into the skin really really fast it's like a milky kind of serum it contains hyaluronic acid as well as centella so you've got the hydration you've got the soothing and calming of the seeker type ingredients and it also contains additional antioxidants to improve the complexion of your skin there is absolutely no white cast from this you guys today it was um nearly 100 degrees fahrenheit in the uk so you need to use a lot of sunscreen and as you can see look at how lovely and glowy my skin looks ready for makeup so today we're going for kind of a fresh face sort of look we're going in with the maybelline superstay active wear foundation because this is very very long wearing great to use in the summer months and it's got a really nice kind of coverage which is like a medium to full buildable coverage in this kind of weather i tend to go for more the medium sort of side so i apply one pump to each side of my face before i blend it all in next up i'm using the maybelline express brow pencil in the shade medium brown this is what i tend to use every single day without fail as you can see my eyebrows are already shaped i get them threaded professionally because i can't do that kind of stuff myself i ain't that talented and i just basically use the pencil to just slightly darken up and neaten up my eyebrows filling in any kind of patchy areas but i don't generally tend to go overboard look you can see one just looks neater than the other one to be honest so I just then go and fill that all in and then I tend to carve them out and sharpen them with concealer which I did off camera. Next up I'm using the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Concealer. This is the brand new concealer that was launched a couple of weeks ago and I tend to use this on my under eye area with the Huda Beauty sponge just to cover up my dark under eye circles and it's great for the summer months this concealer as well you guys then I'll set it with the Laura Mercier translucent honey powder I always go in heavy with the powder under the eyes as everybody should and I make that funny face to fill in any lines under the eyes you guys I don't do it for jokes you know now I'm using this Maybelline matte and poreless powder just to basically set my foundation it's very very hot outside um, obviously I've got skincare on underneath as well this will just mattify everything and I just use this to remove all powders on my face and I'll run it over my eyebrows as well now you guys oh my god you know how happy I was that this eyeliner came out the way I wanted to on video can you imagine if I had messed it all up and I was so happy that it came out like perfect so basically I've got no eyeshadow on and I'm using my favorite Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeliner to create a medium thickness but very sharp and pointed wing and you have to obviously take your time with this do not breathe if you breathe something may happen i didn't breathe so mine came out perfect and sharp and i do this on both eyes now i'm using a massive pair of lashes these are the coco lashes in the style stella because i am sometimes a lips and lashes kind of gal if i want a quick fresh face kind of look i will just do the winged out black eyeliner big eyelashes like this and then i'll do a bold ish kind of lip i'm not doing a 
boldish sort of lip today however you can see the impact that having these lashes and liner is when you've just got it on its own i'm using the highlight opals palette from lime crime first i'm using this orangey kind of shade to apply it to my tear duct this is just to open up the eyes this is a great kind of thing to do when you haven't got any eyeshadow on it just gives a little pop of color or dimension then I'm going with the gold went a little bit overboard you guys did rub it off slightly off camera because I looked like I had eczema in the corner of my eyes anyway and then I use this to highlight my brow bone as well now I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills powder bronzer in the shade saddle which is what I generally use quite a lot just to create contours on my face to make my face look less kind of oblongy egg shaped contouring my nose I clearly went in too much on one side than the other but it's okay I managed to fix it at some point um, during the video um, it all evens itself out so it works out you guys it's not like a terrible ending to this story then as I always do I will sharpen up my contour using the same Laura Mercier powder this is just to create definition to get rid of any kind of messiness that has happened and again to just add to the setting on the face and then I will just brush it all off now it looks nice and neat and sharp my face looks defined now I'm going in with this glowish blush from Huda Beauty this one is a lovely um, spring summer kind of color that will look amazing and wake up your face and then for highlighter I'm using Doll Beauty's Doll Light Shine Bright Highlighter I love this it's a pale golden sort of shade I love the texture of this highlighter I've been using it for years when I first bought it from Topshop and I now I still continue to buy it to this day then I'm using this Kayali Huda Beauty a liquid lipstick uh, set but I'm only using the liquid lipstick as you can see this is a beautiful color for the summer months especially if you don't want to go for a bright pink or a bright orange this is like a mixture of the two and like all Huda Beauty lipsticks it lasts all day long without budging and looks amazing then to set my face I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush um, setting spray basically this freezes your makeup in place nothing is going to move and of course I always use my fan to dry it down and here we are here is the finished look I hope you guys enjoyed the video like comment make sure you subscribe to my channel remember you guys your makeup will only look as good as your skin allows it to if your skin looks good via using amazing skincare then your makeup will look amazing as well Anyway, I love you all. See you all in the next video. Bye.